Hello there YouTube, Practical Magic 9 here. We're going to talk about B-movies. We love B-movies here. Uh, thanks to Mystery Science Theater 3000, the movie and the series, we've learned that, you know, when you've, when you've served some lemons, just squeeze the heck out of them <laughs> and, and make fun of them. Uh, movies can be bad for a lot of reasons, you know, bad CGI, bad special effects, bad acting, bad script plot holes big enough to drive a Mac for a truck through and uh, wow I couldn't say that could I um, and I don't want to reinvent the wheel I'm not going to be talking about anything that's already been done by Mystery Science Theater at least that I know of all right uh, but <clears throat> I hope to present to you a couple of choices that you maybe haven't heard of and hadn't thought about watching um, I can tell you that if you see Lionsgate Entertainment on the box, it's probably a winner, <laughs> a loser winner. So today's offering to you is a little gem we love and don't own. It's called Attack of the Sabretooth. Problem on gate four. They were due back for feeding half an hour ago. So why the hell aren't they here? Maybe they've eaten already. Now, the perfect prehistoric predator is about to rule once more. Where do I begin? This movie wants so badly to be Jurassic Park and it just achieves the bad part. It's like the world's worst zoo combined with the world's crappiest theme park. And there you have Attack of the Sabretooth. It's just bad. Uh, I'm going to go to the plot summary. In the Fiji Islands, the greedy and unscrupulous owner of Primal Park invites investors and guests for an opening party of his compound composed of a hotel and a zoo aiming to find partners for his discoveries. With a bunch, when a bunch of college small-time thieves put a virus in the security system to participate in a scavenger hunt, the greatest attraction of the zoo, saber-tooths from the prehistoric age, developed from DNA found in fossils, escape killing the hosts and guards for fun. And I read that all with a straight face. Okay, uh, now in all fairness to the college students, they don't really have to be very good thieves. First of all, they're obviously invited there by their host because it's something you can only reach by boat or by seaplane. But it's just not known to the host that they're there for a scavenger hunt. And I don't know why they have to hack into the security system anyway because they only want access to the gift shop, which for some inexplicable reason is locked up. And it's only locked up by something that you could get into with a pair of bolt cutters. Um, it's just, oh, and the things that they are on their list for this scavenger hunt are really laughable. One of the things is a cannibal fork, which it, I, only by making this video did I understand that there was such a thing as a cannibal fork. Are some spears and a cotton candy bowl. Yeah, there's a cotton candy bowl. I wish I could find the cheesy picture of the computer nerd guy with the candy bowl. But any sympathy that I might be having for these small-time college thieves is soon lost when the obvious athlete amongst them decides to give the cardboard cutout definitions of everybody. He says, well, I am the jock, you're the computer nerd, she's the slut, she's the goth, and she's this nice one. And while there's no need for anybody to develop any further character, much less have anything more intelligent to say, that about sums that up. You spend a lot of your time with the college students and with the sort of lax security guards. One of the security guards is the guy who gives you all of the information you need after the fact. His 
speeches usually start with, well, didn't you know? Oh, by the way, one of the big reveals about these genetically engineered saber tooths is he's like 500 pounds and he has almost no bones. He can crawl where he goes. And all of the saber tooths are bulimic. They have to eat every two hours because they can't keep their food down. Um, and of course, the saber toothed cats hunt in broad daylight by using infrared, evidently. And if infrared is any indication, everybody on this island is like, they need to check into a doctor. It looks like they are running a fever of about 150. So this movie has it all. It has bad CGI and bad models. It has bad character development, bad plot development, huge plot holes, and just in general a lot of fun. I'm going to leave you now with, spoiler alert, this is the ending of the movie, but it is the absolute height of bad CG and, well, anyway. Um, Attack of the Sabretooth, released in 2005 and making the world a more laughable place ever since. It's Practical Magic 9 saying, be excellent to each other until the next installment of This is Halloween, out. Ah.